Chapter 9 Friday, the 26th of July, 12.30 p.m. Williams and Miller leave Chris Layton at 12.30. They drive to St Aldate's police station and go up to Inspector Williams' room. Jenkins, the police scientist, comes in with some photos. The photos, Inspector, he says. Thank you. <clears throat> Williams looks at the photos. He finds one of the Chinese dog. I like dogs, he says. They're very good at helping people. William smiles at Miller and gives her the photo. Take this to the Ashmolean Museum. Speak to Dr Fisher. He's a friend. Give him the photo. Ask him how much money can Inspector Williams get for this dog. And then call me with the answer. OK. Miller takes the photo and leaves. Jenkins then gives Williams some papers. Fingerprints, he says. But no fingerprints at all on the knife. Dr Layton's are everywhere, of course, and her husband's are. How do you know his fingerprints? asks Williams quickly. They're on the police computer, answers Jenkins, from his school days, but only for taking some jeans from a shop. Williams looks at the photos again. He finds one of the coffee table. He gives it to Jenkins. Whose fingerprints are on that book on the table? Our beautiful world, Williams asks. Jenkins finds the right paper. Dr Layton's, Simon Layton's, and a third person's. We don't know whose. Someone from the bookshop, maybe, says Williams. But Simon Layton's fingerprints are on it, you say? Yes, Inspector, they are, says Jenkins. That's very interesting, says Williams. Good work, Jenkins. Just then, Williams' phone rings. It's Sergeant Miller. The dog, Inspector, she starts. It's Chinese and very old. Dr Fisher likes it very much. He says you can get about... One hundred thousand pounds for it. William smiles quickly. Then he looks out of the window and starts thinking. OK, Miller, he tells her. I want you to get Dr Collins. I'm going to get Dr Layton's husband and her son. Meet me at the house on St John Street. <laughs> 